Patty Camara here for Tumble Bear Enterprises, and I'm going to talk about how to answer the phone at a gym school. You know, answering the phone is one way that it can have an enormous effect on your bottom line of your company. It's so very important, and I'm going to give you eight top tips on how to answer the phone more effectively in your gym school. First of all, we answer the phone like this. Good afternoon, Patty's All-American. This is Patty. How may I help you? A couple things there. Say good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Say your name so people know immediately who you're talking to. I used to have a pet peeve about that, about my copy company, and I actually left them because I get so angry. Now, I think when you only have so much time, and everybody only has so much time, you want to know who you're speaking to. So say the name, your name in that uh, salutation or, or greeting, I should say. So make sure you say that. You know, have a phone script for your staff of exactly how you want them to answer the phone and key things that I'm going to tell you and ways that you want to have them explain the curriculum, the teacher's bios, all the ways that you want to make that just as perfect as it can be. Then make sure they understand that that's a guideline, that you don't want them to sound robotic about it, but giving them a script or an outline is very helpful. All right, so you answer it the proper way. Number two, say it with a smile. Have a mirror. I, I dare you to do this. Put a mirror by all the phones in your gym and have them watch themselves as they answer the phone. You can hear a smile, just like I'm smiling right now when I'm talking. It just sounds perkier than if I'm not smiling and trying to be perky. So say it with a smile is number two. Second part of number two is ask questions. Ask questions for your uh, customer to be, hopefully, on the phone versus just keep spooting everything. We used to have a girl that worked here that used to answer the phone and then when she heard that they were interested in gymnastics. Oh, well, Patty Camara owns this gym. You know, she goes all over the world speaking, and she has written over 100 books and blah, 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 blah. People don't want to hear that. They have no interest in that. Oh, and, and you're calling for gymnastics? What is your child's name? How old is she? Oh, Olivia, and she's six? What a great age to take gymnastics. Now, if they would have said their daughter's name's Olivia and she was three, you'd go, what a great age to take gymnastics. So whatever they're interested in, that's a great age to take that. Because it is, all ages are great to be able to come to take dance or gymnastics or whatever it is. So you wanna say that. You wanna speak slowly enough, but yet perky. You know, that's my problem is because I speak so slowly. Everybody's like, Patty, slow down. And it is hard to understand. So make sure you, you sound perky, but you're slow enough that the people can understand and a lot of them are writing things down. So you wanna make sure you take time with it. Number three, call other gyms and kind of test to see and compare the friendliness, the, the uh, professionalism and the helpfulness that they have. Plus see how they answer the phone and let them go through the way that they would respond to a customer. Number four, tape yourself. I'd like to tape yourself and review it to improve your delivery. So tape it by audio tape, or just put your camera there and videotape how you look. Are you smiling when you answer the phone? That's what you want to say. Number five, how do you say goodbye? You know, I have a sister that when she's talking to me, she's like, she sounds kind of perky, blah, 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 blah. And she'll say, okay, well, we'll see you on Saturday then, goodbye. Every single time her goodbye is like way down here. And it's important that when you, you finish up, you go, okay, we'll see you Monday at five o'clock for the Telebear class, goodbye. You end with a good up on that. Number six, whenever anyone calls for any reason, we try to ask them, how are you doing in class? How is she doing? How are we doing for you? Does Olivia like her class? How is she doing with her teacher? Is she improving? Ask those questions, even if they call just for a makeup or to find out what time kids night out. Now you'll be able to tell if the mom's harried and busy and stuff and doesn't want to keep talking, but find out how you're doing. Sometimes this is exactly when they've got an opening to tell you what's going on. So you want to catch that before it's too late. Number seven, use the phone cards. We have these, oh, about five by seven size phone cards that we put together so that anyone who's new in the office can grab them and it'll be by department. So say it's the dance department. So they're new and they're like, tell us about your dance department. Ah. So the new person grabs the phone cards and it has everything from how long we've been doing dance to the dance teacher's bio, to what kind of curriculum and philosophy, what type of ballet we um, teach. Is there a recital? Are we a recital school? All those different things. Is there an apparel requirement? How much does it cost? Don't let people leave off the phone and there be surprises where they come to the front desk and they say, well, I talked to Patty on the phone. What, there's a registration fee? What's a registration fee? I didn't bring that much money. So you need to make sure you are thorough. Um, and if you can't answer the phone, uh, excuse me, answer the question. Say this, that's a great question and I'm not sure the answer. What's a good time for me to get back to you with that answer? Tell people it's a pleasure to do business with them. When they say, you know, thank you, and you go, my pleasure, or when you have to put them on hold. Don't just say, hold on please. May I put you on a brief hold? 
say it that way, it just sounds much more professional. And lastly, on that phone checklist that you're gonna make, because you need a phone checklist right by the phone, you wanna put that you re reiterate the class day and time, where the gym's located, give them some you know, location hints, who will be at the front desk, well you'll see Sherry at the desk on Monday morning to greet you, who will be your instructor, how much money to bring if they need to, an observation policy, when and how long the parents can stay and where, the, where they can sit. So fill that in for them. These are just some of the ideas I have on talking to the phone. This is from Front Office Excellence number 163. And I just wanna reiterate that we just try so hard at that first impression on the phone. So get your people to really concentrate and think about how they can make each part of that phone call better. So if you'd like any more information, you can always go to our website, which is tumblebear.com. And uh, you can always give us a phone call, 219-865-2274. Thanks so much.